Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am going to be checking out the next episode of Father Ted which is called The Mainland. Um, of course the last episode was Speed 3 which was brilliant and you may also remember that about halfway through that episode one of the craziest thunderstorms I've ever seen in my life just began and there was that huge loud bang that was just caught by the microphone. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy storm, uh, but not much chance of that happening now because it's not raining and it's not thunder or lightning, so it's just going to be a quiet one, this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this will be going on Patreon for early access and then it comes to YouTube. Um, so if you'd like to get access to early access shows on Patreon, Father's Head is available for $1 a month. It's available in the cheapest tier. So consider joining joining us on Patreon. We've got some special offers on at the moment. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's go. joke from the last episode. Oh, Pat was wondering if he could put his massive tool in my box. <laughs> Brilliant. Dougal. Come on, Dougal, turn off the video. Okay, Ted. That's a great show, though, isn't it? He's mad, isn't he? I don't believe it, he says. <laughs> Which one were you watching? What? <laughs> Which episode of One Foot in the Grave were you watching? Oh, One Foot in the Grave we were watching. Right, okay. Dougal, you just finished watching it. Do you not remember anything from it? I don't believe it. That's what he says. <laughs> Come on, Dougal. Hurry up. We're off to the main line. Hey! Hey! We have to go to the betting Why? shop to collect my winnings. £200 on Father Liam Rice in the limbo competition. <laughs> What they don't know is there's something wrong with his back, and he always walks like that. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, oh, so you've cheated. Don't believe it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> don't believe it. <laughs> oh, Dougal, you better get that mended. There's a hole there in the top of your tank top. Really, Ted? I don't believe it. <laughs> Brilliant, Dougal. <laughs> Can we go to the caves then? After we go to the betting shop. Can we go? Can we? Yeah. Please, 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 please. All right, we'll go to the caves. Fantastic! Go to the caves. I don't believe it. <laughs> Here we are now. I don't believe it. <laughs> Drink! <laughs> Not now, Father. We're going to the opticians in Roundskin, remember? Drink! To get you a nice pair of glasses. <laughs> careful on the mainland. There's a lot of crime around. Arsonists and muggers everywhere. My friend Mrs O'Dwyer was robbed last week. Oh no. Did they get much? No, Father, I don't think you understand. She was robbed. They stole her. <laughs> oh. It's a terrible thing when an old person can't even walk down the street for fear of being stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dougal, I don't want any accidents. Here's Mrs. Deneen, Father. You can drop me off here. Right, so. Oh, God. Hello, Father Crilly. Hello, Mrs. Deneen. When we go to the tea shop, Mrs. Deneen, we can have a bit of a chat there. Right, so. Bye now. <laughs> God, Dougal. Could you imagine spending any more time with those? <laughs> oh, 200 big ones, Dougal. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, God, Ted, I'm so happy. The sun's out and we're in an optician's. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> God, Ted, I just remembered something. I forgot to have any breakfast. 
get something later, don't worry. Oh God, Ted, I'm so hungry. There's no chance. I couldn't die, could I, from the hunger? <laughs> I no. don't think so. Not for a couple of hours, anyway. I'm finished now, Father. Try weeks. <laughs> well, I must say, I'm confused. His eyesight seems to be better than ever before. He read right down to the very last line, and even I can't see that one. <laughs> of course it says drink. Drink, 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 drink. <laughs> the one word he can always say. Uh, I think I know what happened. You see, Father Jack has a great fondness for saying that particular word. Oh, I didn't know. It's the first time I've used that eye chart, actually. I got it free with a promotional crate of Carlsberg. Hey, do you have anything to eat? Like a plate of chips or a burger or a few chops? I'm out of my head with the hunger. I'm out of my head with the hunger. I'll uh, just get the other chart. So, what happened to his last pair of Let me guess, this new chart says asked or girls on it. Just... No idea. He was gone out of the house for a few minutes. When he came back, they were gone. He can't seem to hold on to a pair. Dougal, you forgot your scarf. The birds are nicking his glasses. Father, Vermin. this is going to take some time. All oh, right, we'll head off, so. Come on, Dougal, we'll go to the caves. Hooray! Hooray! Now, Father, you were this chart was given to me by Slovakia's premier lens manufacturers, Fekars Industries. Fekars! Fekars Industries! Fekars! <laughs> you remember Mrs. Kiernan? Well, she was on her way to the shop the other day, and a man came over to her and killed her and stole her pen. <laughs> killed her? Well, they think so. They're keeping her in for tests. <laughs> well, you know what happened to old Mr. Sweeney. Some young fellas broke into his house and started messing with him. And they put a bra on him. <laughs> oh, God, poor Mr. Sweeney. He wouldn't like that at all. I heard there were over 200 cases of forced transvestism involved in Mr. Sweeney last year. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. What's the world coming to? Forced transvestism. <laughs> the very dark caves. It's almost like being blind. Steady, baby. Uh, right now, one more. Steady. God almighty! Look what it is. It, it's that actor. Who? You know, your, your man from One Foot in the Grave. Oh, yeah. I don't believe it, man. Oh, wow. God, that's amazing. Look at him there. Never mind him. Look at the prat next to him. What does he think he's. What does he come as? Dressed up like a fucking spring onion? Well. No, excluding the white bit. Do you know what he'd love? Oh, <laughs> he'd love it if somebody came up to him and said his catchphrase. No. Oh, oh yeah, Ted. He'd love that. You should definitely do that. Should I? Oh, yeah. I'd say no one ever does that to him. He'd think you're hilarious. You know, this is one of these times when I'm absolutely 100 million percent sure that you'd be doing the right thing. I can safely say you definitely, definitely won't regret doing that. <laughs> you get a punch him or something, innit? I'm going to do it. Brilliant. Will I? Yeah, go on. Hold the camera. <laughs> oh, no.
Well, what did he say? Also, I just realised that, that he uh, played the dentist in the Mr. Bean episode. Say, did he laugh? Did no, he laugh? No, 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 is that a cannabis leaf on the cup? This is a tea room in Amsterdam. <laughs> His arm snapped. And then it was just a case of lying on top of him until the filth arrived. <laughs> <laughs> we better be off, Mrs. Doyle. I get this. Oh, no, Mrs. Sidney, put that away. Reason. I get this. No, now, don't be silly. I pay. <laughs> you won't put that away. <laughs> now, don't be stupid, Mrs. Doyle. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, just put your money away. <laughs> You're mad. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pensioners, tired of crows stealing your glasses? Try Han Ratty's ear clamps, fully crow resistant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again. Frickin' bored again. Again what? Bored again. Frickin' boards again. Stage I was drinking over a pint of vodka a day. Yes! <laughs> yes. All I could think about was where the next drink was coming from. Drink! <laughs> I didn't give a damn about my wife, our kids. Yeah. No. With all of your help, uh, I'm coming through it. I'm just taking it one day at a time. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald. Now, I notice that we have a new member of the group with us today. Oh. Father, would you like to tell us your story? <laughs> Drink! Drink! <laughs> that is literally his story. Drink! <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> Drink! It's so true. So true. Oh, and this rock here is actually granite. Feck off. <laughs> How long would that be there? Oh, many millions of years. Really? As long as that? And that's, that is fascinating. <laughs> How come all the rocks are different sizes? <laughs> well, you know, rocks are generally different sizes. Wow. wow. Well, there are all kinds of things I never knew about rocks. Of course, at this time, most of this whole area would have been submerged underwater. How did everyone breed? <laughs> <laughs> this whole area, whole area would have been submerged underwater. How did everyone breed? Huh? I love to go. Merged underwater. How did everyone breathe? Oh, <laughs> All right. 
Wow, look at that rock over there. Well, this is actually the oldest part of our tour. Wow. Uh, this particular cave was formed more than 15 million years ago. Wow. <laughs> Don't believe it. Oh, you are the king. Of course he's there when he's just said that. Of course. You are the king. I don't, don't want to see you again. Oh, my <laughs> face. That path's not open to the... Oh, Mr. Wilson, uh, could, I, could I just oh. say... How sorry. No, that's all right, that's all right. As long as I don't have to hear that bloody catchphrase again. I don't believe it. <laughs> Came in this way. Oh, Ted, I'm so hungry, I'm beginning to hallucinate. I do, don't exaggerate. And stop worrying, we'll get up here in no Let's try this way. <laughs> Ted, what's that? What's what? Oh. <laughs> Ted! Oh, not Graham fucking Norton again. Jesus Christ. I hate his character in this. He's such an annoying prick. Oh, God, right. See, this is where... This is how I earn the Patreon membership fees, putting up with these characters in these shows. <laughs> Come on, though. Noel Furlong is one of the most annoying characters I've ever seen in any sitcom in my life. He's an absolute... Just douchebag. <laughs> ah! And what the fuck's he doing in a fucking cave? Ah! Tits! Ah! Ah, yeah, and that's even worse. You know, it's mad to think that 20 years ago, not also Graham Norton, he was just, <clears throat> you know. A very unregular, only occasional guest on a, um, on a sitcom. And now he hosts what is literally the biggest celebrity 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 chat show in the world. I blame not on it, it's the it is the best. You know, because it it's not like serious and it's not all about like just going on there to plug your new film. The celebrities just come on, sit on the sofa, have a drink, chill out, and just have fun. I love the Graham Norton show, it's brilliant. When they've got some good guests on, like when Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey and uh, Jeff Daniels went on when they were promoting Dumber Dumber 2, it was hilarious. Robin Williams, when he went on, oh, it was fantastic. It's, it's a really good show. I see a little silhouette somewhere. Will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning. No. Very, very frightening. Galileo. 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 Figaro. Magnifico. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. No, they fucking don't. A poor boy from a poor family. Save from his life from this monstrosity. Easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? Pass me a la no. Let me go. Pass me a la. Will not let you go. Let me go. No, 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 no. No, like. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. Let me go. Beelzebub had the devil push aside for me. For me. For me. As I was saying, <laughs> I think the thing to do is to try and find an exit before the caves close for the evening. Good idea, Father. Uh, how long have you been in here? Two days now, Father. <laughs> two days? I think it's two days. We've been having a great laugh. <laughs> no, they haven't. <laughs> that guy's at his wit's end because he's stuck in here with it. Brick. I just think that uh, <clears throat> actually everyone would like to get out of here and get something to eat and to get home. Who can screech the loudest? <laughs> Let's have... I'll do something here that'll make you screech the loudest, you feckin' bastard. A screeching competition! I'll go first. Ah! <laughs> Jerry Fields, your go. I'd rather not, Father. Oh, go on. Ah! <laughs> Easy, 
Is he on cocaine? <laughs> Is he on a mix of cocaine and fucking disco biscuits? He's off his fucking rocker! Easy! I really think we should think about trying to get out here. Oh, God, Ted, maybe you're right. If we don't get out, we might have to eat each other. You know, like, like in that film Alive, where they get into the plane crash, and then they have to eat all their friends. Mm. Look, look, here's me eating Tony. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> and Tony be going, oh, no, get off me, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> and I'd be going, but I'm hungry, Tony. And Tony be going, oh, no, go away, go away, go away. Wouldn't you, Tony? Oh, God, uh, guys. Oh, oh, what are you oh, fucking oh, going away? Oh, oh, here's, here's Tony's parents. When they hear that I've eaten Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony was our only son. <laughs> and then, then I'd be at the funeral. <laughs> and, and I'd be going, oh, better not show my Will you shut you. up? Yes. Will, you, will you please shut up? Will you shut up? Shut up, shut up! <laughs> well. Well. Well, I've never. I've never... What? Tony, I'm putting you on my list of enemies. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking terrified. What are you gonna do, fucking annoy me to death? There. You're in for it now, Tony. <laughs> oh. Ha! Only joking. Look what I've really written. <laughs> Come on, let's have seven heads for the screeching competition. Janine, right? Just, just... Just a suggestion, right? You're in a cave. Hmm? Got rocks in caves. I've been potholing before. There's fucking rocks all over the place of all different sizes. Ones that you can easily hold in your hand and swing very fast. See where I'm going with this? Oh, she'd love a go. Go on, it's easy. Ah! <laughs> I really wouldn't do that, no. <laughs> ah! Seriously, no! <laughs> ah! I hope he's dead. I, re I literally hope his character is dead. I really do. So, it was uh, me. <laughs> he's still fucking talking. Oh my god, will someone please just kill this cunt? This and Father Duggan. And you'd think, wouldn't you, that someone like Chris Evans wouldn't want to hang around with the likes of us. And You'd be right. He didn't want to hang around with us at all. Grab his hand. <laughs> Fucking yank it the opposite way. Ted, mm, I'm going mad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, sorry, Noel. Uh, but are you not worried about being trapped under that big pile of rocks? Not at all. She wants you here to keep me company. And the youth group will be back Run again at any moment. Leave him a start to death. They were just going to find the tour guide, tell him I was buried under a big pile of rocks, and come right back. That's four tickets to Paraguay. <laughs> but I liked the English patient. Mm. Very confusing and far-fetched and very, very boring. It was my kind of film. Y'all want to fuck, call something really, really boring. Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh, oh, and I like the piano as well. Did you see Harvey Gaitel running around in the nip? Did you see that, Ted? <laughs> Ted. Oh, him. I fucking him. I hate leaving Noel, but we're doing him no good sitting Not just the fact that he goes on and keeps talking absolute bollocks, acting like fucking an autistic person who just sniffed a kilo of cork. It's his actual voice. Like, it makes me want to pour fucking acid in my earlobes. Ear holes. Around listening to him screech. At least he'll be safe under that big pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get ourselves out and we can worry about Noel then. God, where is this exit? has turned into some sort of woman's bra! <laughs> <laughs> it's after unravelling. <laughs> Big ones. Oh my god. Dugan. We can find our way back with this. You've obviously snagged her on something. If we use this, we can find our way out. <laughs> oh, thank god, Dougal! 
We'll be out in no time. <laughs> Ted, should you be winding it up like that? Do you know what? That reminds me of something I did when I was a kid. I was at my grandparents' house and part of whatever I was wearing on my top half got snagged on something. It was upstairs and I was able to walk downstairs and out of the house and it was still pulling. It was that long. It was crazy. Or should we not be following it? What? <laughs> Ted, should you be winding it up like that or should we not be following it? What? Well, what use will it be when you're finished winding it up? You fucking idiot. <laughs> I, I don't believe us! I'm going mad. <laughs> oh, he's ugly. Oh. Drink. Oh, oh. Drink. He's ringing me at this time, Drink. really? Drink! 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 Don't do it, Father. I won't let you do it. I know it hurts, but believe me, you're gonna thank me for that. You gotta thank me for Nino, oh, Nino. <laughs> Excuse me, there's someone buried in the caves. He's all right, but I really think you should get somebody in there quickly. Thank Why? Why would you do that? Just leave him there to die. Serious? I would. I would leave him there. I'd just let him fucking... Yeah. Just let him... Crumble into dust. Thank you. Please hurry. Come on, Dougal. I want to get away before the rescue. <laughs> Bye, Noel. <laughs> Come on, Dougal. Relax. The, the food will be here in a minute. God, I haven't eaten out in such a long time. I need to eat out somewhere soon. This is making me want to. I don't care if it's just a, a greasy spoon for a breakfast or whatever. I need to go and eat out somewhere soon. I think I might do this week. Hello? 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 Is that Father Crilly? Uh, yes, this is him. We've been trying to contact you all night. Do you know a Mrs. Doyle? First name, Mrs. Doyle. Uh, do I know... Uh... Oh, we never get to hear her first name. Right. Why do shows do that? Doesn't it just lead people speculating what... Uh, yeah, well, you know. Uh, Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> Are you dead? Yes, yes, sir. She's our housekeeper. Well, I need you to come down to the police station. She's been in a spot of trouble. Now, Mrs. Janine, if there's a fine or anything, I pay it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. thank you, Father. Father <laughs> Hattish! Come on, Dougal, you're not going to be able to eat that. We have to get Mrs. Mrs. Janine. Let him eat! Father Jack out of prison. Come on. <laughs> oh, he didn't get to eat his steak and chips. I'm very, very sorry. You wouldn't have a lasagna or a chicken curry or something. Like that. <laughs> no. Okay. No, well, I'm afraid not. We haven't arrested Heston Blumenthal today. Maybe I'll just have a bag of chips and uh, could have a Fanta orange as well. Please. A Fanta orange? <laughs> You know where you are. This is a police station. <laughs> right. Um, in that case, I'll just have the chicken satay and peel over. <laughs> what? I just hope you don't think this type of thing goes on all the time. We're not all criminals and troublemakers in the church, you know. <laughs> I hope this won't put you off going to mass. I'm a Protestant, actually, Father. Oh, really? Ah. <laughs> it's a straight choice, Father. Either yeah, they cool. pay a two hundred pound fine, or they spend the night in the cells. Well, uh, I, I wouldn't have that kind of money on me. Maybe in the circumstances, a night in the cells might be the better option. <laughs> Tay, shut up, Dougal. No, Tay, no, Dougal, be quiet. No, I, I was just... All right! All right! Here! Here! 
Here's your blood money. But just let me say this. There was a time when the police in this country were friends of the church. Drunk driving charges quashed. Parking tickets torn up. <laughs> Even a blind eye turned to the odd murder. But now, I knew you are satisfied. I gave him the money. No, we all know what sort of crime the police used to get the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you give them the £200 a one of the best? Well, I did. There, happy. Once again, you've made me look like a complete idiot in front of real people. <laughs> Thank people. you so much. <laughs> right, to be honest, Ted, uh, I forgot you had the money. <laughs> uh, I was just going to say your fly's open. I thought it was going to be something else to do with food, if I'm honest. <laughs> but your fly's open. <laughs> How was he? God, Dougal, what did I say? There's always trouble when we go to the mainland. I must make a note of never, <laughs> ever going back there again. At least oh, you got something to eat. unavoidable. Which it isn't, unfortunately. Girls, they make the rocking world go round. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, I'm seriously... I'm struggling to think of a... An, a character in any show, not just sitcom, any show, that I hate, hated more than him. He is a first class... You know the word. Wow, seriously, he is... I, I have actual desire to cause him real harm. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Jesus. Thank God that's over with him. But apart from him, the rest of the episode was really good. It was really funny, I enjoyed it. <clears throat> Poor Dougal, he was just, you know, hungry. <laughs> Father Ted thought he was going to say, oh, come on, pay it, get them out, they're our friends. <laughs> he just kicked off and went on this huge tangent about how the police used to get the, cath the priests off for certain things and uh, that's not what he was going to say. <laughs> it was a good episode, really funny. I'm going to miss this when it's over. There aren't many episodes left, actually, there's only four left. Shame. Um, but there's uh, there's a documentary to go to to go to after it's over. I'm pretty sure. So definitely gonna pick that up once I reach the end of this series. And um, also, as I've been mentioning. Well, I think I mentioned it once. Over the summer, I'm going to be doing the first episodes of like different shows. I'm thinking of putting up up a poll to have all you vote for a show, but I need to compile a list of um, sitcoms. So it's going to be another classic British comedy show, obviously. Nothing modern. Well, I might I might include a, a modern option in there, just you know, um, the thick of it, and also I might take a few candidates from the last time I did a poll <clears throat> that gave us Blackadder keeping up appearances and on the buses. So yeah, 
Watch out for that. It'll be on the Patreon. And we can vote for something. Um, but, yeah. That was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. I love this show. It, it's really good. Love the characters. Dougal is fantastic. Mrs. Doyle's fantastic. Father, Hackett, fantastic. Obviously, it goes without saying Father Ted's a great character as well. He's the main man. But, yeah, they're just, you know, all together, they're all really good. Um, and apart from Noel Fuck-Long, um, every other side character I've enjoyed as well. And that's quite rare, where, you know, you get a sitcom where there's only one side character that you don't like. But all the others, I, I think I've liked all of them. I can't think of any I didn't like. There's ones that I found annoying, definitely. But it's only really no furlong that I actively dislike. Like, I have actual hatred for him. It's just so annoying. Like, his voice, it goes through me like a fucking Japanese f steak knife being dropped from, like, five feet over... A piece of wet paper <laughs> just <laughs> straight through. <laughs> I hate him. Um The character, don't get me wrong, I like Graham Norton. I think he's he's a great host of his uh, of a chat show. He's he's a well he obviously is, you know, that show's going strong after many years. Um but I'm gonna leave it there. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and um, please like this if you're watching it on YouTube. What well, like it on Patreon as well? You know there is a heart, a love heart button there. You meant to like it, and uh, leave a comment on the video as well if there's anything you've got to say, any facts or whatever about this show, about this episode. I do enjoy reading them, and um, I'll see you all in the next one. So. Oh, it's also Sunday, so instead of saying see you tomorrow, I will say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.